Aloha party people and welcome back to the Desert Oasis Room. It's another Sunday fun day here inside the Desert Oasis Room and look who we have! The newest, <laughs> the newest bartender at DKT, our friend Esteban De Luna. And I am so excited. I'm excited to be here. To have, to have cocktails from our friend Esteban because this, believe it or not, is going to be the first time I've had a cocktail from you. Yeah, it, it, I think a lot of people are like, I don't think you know how to bartend. I'm like, I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and for all this time that I've known you, I can't believe that I haven't yet had one of your drinks. Now, here's the thing about Esteban. Esteban is, just so you know, he's not just the guy who's checking IDs at the door. He's an award-winning bartender, published recipes. He did a lot of work for Spirits Brands. I mean, he's the real deal. So we're going to get cocktails that are on a higher level that you can't even get at the Tiki Tea. No, not, 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 maybe you're deceiving one thing. Huh? Maybe, like maybe, but they probably <laughs> don't have some of these in Oh, right? well, well, yeah, now that you come So there you go, <laughs> only here inside the Desert Oasis. Only here right? in the Oasis. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make a cocktail, and if you guys wanna follow along, we're gonna put the recipe right down in the description. Yeah, no, no, no secret anything. And, yeah, and, and all of this you could, you could find. And I love it, I love it. So tell us about this first drink. Uh, this one um, is gonna be sort of like a spring, kind of like floral. Uh, I call it the Tren al Sur, which is a train to the south. Train to the south. Uh, okay. it's, it's just a very easy, refreshing uh, drink, pretty much based with uh, Ilegal Mezcal, a little aloe liqueur. Oh, I love it. And uh, just fresh cucumber juice, that's why it's really green. So, it's just so this is just, this is not even colored? This is no, just fresh cucumber? Just, just wow. pressed, like you could even just cut it, blend it, strain it, and that's, and that's pretty it? much all you need. Wow. But if you have a juicer, it works way better. Wow. Just juice it. So I love it. I love no it. sugar, no nothing. Okay. Uh, lime juice and just a little agave, a one-to-one -one ratio. Very nice. You know, and that's pretty much it. Easy. Okay. So easy here beat. we go. Walk us through this drink. Awesome. Okay. So here we go. We are gonna do with cucumber juice. Cucumber this, juice first. So it's gonna be uh, one and a half. I'm using a Japanese jigger, so this one's gonna be one ounce, two ounce, and I was aligned there for one and a half. Okay. So. One and a half. Do they use ounces in Japan? No. And you say Japanese, not. so they use mills, right? They use mills, only that this one's just called the Japanese drink because this is what they tend to use. That's what they use. Okay. All right. Those are like what a lot of, you see a lot of like flare parts in there too. Right, right. Or if you see some of them like, and rolling them around and stuff. Yeah. Some faster yeah. ones tend to do too, yeah. like a smaller yeah. one. But yeah. Change I think the, just, yeah. The, the sizes, yeah. And then we're going to do one and a half of Ilegal Mezcal. Love it. I love Mezcal. Same. So here's the thing. So I'm not much of a tequila guy, but I love mezcal. It's, it's definitely like a kick. It's, it's what we were it's, I was talking to a friend of mine. It was uh, the reason I don't get into um, sort of like some scotches is the peatiness. I yeah. think some people don't get into mezcal because it's like the that smoky, earthiness. Yeah, 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 like yeah that earthy, earthiness yeah, related yeah, to that's it. A yeah. good, that's a better description. But I think that's what I like about it. And I think part of it is, you know, tequila when I was younger, I abused it to get drunk. Yeah. And it's still, it's still part of like... Well, one of the other drinks I'm going to make you is with Jägermeister. And a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, Jägermeister. But it's it's like what you just said. It's Because you, you abuse it when you're, you're like, like, you just relate a certain memory. It's why it. I can't drink anything with chartreuse in it. Because of those... Oh, the green lizards. The stupid green lizards. <laughs> They screwed me up. Yeah. Well, and, next and time I'll make you something with a, a chartreuse. Then we'll, oh, we'll yeah, work well, it out. We'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Yeah, yeah. So we did the for that. cucumber juice. We did the lime juice. Now it's lime juice. One ounce. Lime juice. All right. Fresh squeezed. Fresh don't, squeezed. don't use the bottled stuff. We know it's always better if it's fresh. And then agave. It's usually one for my recipes, but you could just go half if you don't really want that much sugar. Okay. So we're just gonna. Can we use plain simple for that? Or agave really makes. Uh, 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 there's a particular flavor, flavor. with okay. the agave because it's the you know agave and agave. Yeah. But okay. you can use simple. Probably change the, the the taste a little bit, but or honey. I mean, if, if it works or honey, if, yeah. if it works for you, you okay. can tweak it, make it your own. You know. Yeah. All right. Most cocktails are like that: the yeah. daiquiri, and then the bees knees to a gold right. rush. Right. Right. Switch yeah. one for the other. Make yeah. it your own. Yeah. Let me try it later. Okay. Um, uh, that's pretty much it. Okay. Easy. Here we go. Easy. All right, yeah. so how are we doing this? We're shaking it? We're shaking it. And I already had one ready. Magic of, <laughs> you know, YouTubing. There we go. We'll do one at a time because one of my arms is... Oh, I'll do the other one. Right. Okay. I love you call it the money shot. 
Well, a lot of people, that's what they want to see when they do like, uh, the bartending. <laughs> they want to hear the, the pop, which I'm messing up right now. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then just uh, get that extra smegma out of there. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> and then we got put it in a rocks glass with a little tahini rim on the side. Right, love it, love it. Put your have those on the side. Tahini, yeah. Tahini is a nice compliment for mezcal, I would think. So I mean, with uh, the anything Mexican. Tahini. So there you go. Look at the color on that thing. Yeah, it's very. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily need any more garnish or anything. It's just. I love it. Just that. I love it. I love it. All righty. You know, I'm glad you made two because yeah. if you only made one, I was going to take it. No, it one more for us. <laughs> I mean, if we're going to cheer, we're going to. All right. So, it. and we drink this straight, no straw because we want to drink it from. The tahini yeah. side. So usually that's a rule of thumb that I, I, I learned a long time ago. It's like if a bartender gives it to you like that, yeah, yeah. you're meant to sort of drink it like yeah. that. If it's straw, then drink it with straw. Yeah, okay. But, I love it. Salute. Cheers. Here we go. Salute, guys. Here we go. All right. Holy moly. Right. <laughs> that is super refreshing. This is like a summer drink. It's a very, yeah, like out in the sun. Just. Oh my God. So, you can't even taste any of the mezcal in there. Yeah, it's um... It's like super, super <laughs> clean. It just tastes like, just like a, like an agua fresca. Yeah, pretty, pretty, well the inspiration came out of a, a drunken night, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had to come up with a, like menu drinks and mm. we had a, a long binge night and uh, mm. went to 7-Eleven and picked up a Gatorade. They have a cucumber with uh, lime. Yeah. Just drinking it and I was just like, just, just missing mezcal. Perfect. So I try to reenact sort of that, but this could be using... dangerous. Because oh, it's, it's... I could drink like a, a ton of these. Uh, I, I, I see many people being like, "Oh, there's no alcohol in this." But it's, like I told you, just like in the ziggy team, once they get up, they're like, "There's nothing." Oh, yeah, yeah, right. there God. So there we go. Tren al sur. Tren al sur. Tren al sur. Uh, if you want to make one at home, we've got the recipe down there in the description. Make one for yourself and tell us in the comments what you think. And until the next time. Cheers and aloha, party people. Aloha. Thanks again. Salute. All right.